Mm -hmm. I'm trying to isolate what flavors I'm trying to get. I'm gonna go get some water. Oh yeah? Don't let him fall. All right, Ryden. Hi. My resident snack master, we are at it again. So every once in a while I jump on Amazon and I just type in spicy snacks and I try to find things that are interesting, things that I've not done to the channel, and things that could be good for the people that are out there. And yes. so the, the, our job is one, there are two jobs, okay. okay? Our job one is to say, does it taste good? Job yeah. two, well, you don't know that. Dude, some of these are gonna be awesome. I know. And job two is, are they hot? Okay. And if they are hot, how hot are they? Well, technically, if they have heat in it, it's hot, even if you can't taste it. Yeah, I, well, kinda, you know? But I wanna know, is it like, if a person who enjoys spicy food, is this something they should, should, they should go for? They should experience in their life? Do you need this in your body right now? That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. We have three things. This is International Lay's. This is ghost pepper, like, ruffled chips. We're doing these last. These have the, be the best ability to bring spice. Okay, and then... We have cashmere mixture, which I have no idea what it is, but if you look at the ingredients, it says somewhere down there, it says red chili pepper. So there's red chili pepper in here. This could be good, man. This is gonna be like a, it's like a, it's like a trail mix and kind of situation. And then this looks like some sort of like hockey thing. The, the tried and true swinkles. The tried and true swinkles. Can't go wrong with a swinkle. Swinkle. Um, this is gonna be like, okay, so it's a flavored hot candy strip. It's a tamarind. You ever had tamarind? No. The fruit? It's delicious. It's like dark, like a, like, um, I think like, Pomegranate, cherry, like uh, plum, like dark fruits, like that kind of thing. Okay. Okay. It's good. Where do you want to start? You want to start with the cashmere mixture? You want to or you want to swinkle? Yes. All right. I think I agree. I think that is the, the correct route to go. Because I feel like I'm not gonna like this actually. It's got spicy blend of split mung beans, noodles, potato sticks, and cashews. I think it's gonna be awesome. It doesn't look at that spicy at all from the front of the box. It has. It's a new pack. Well, it's not a box either. <laughs> I like how it opens. And it's resealable. Save it for later. Yep. Not that's sometimes like when you open a bag, you're you're committed. You are committed. You have to put it in a Ziploc bag or something. A spicy blend of mung bean noodles, potato sticks, and cashew nuts. The ingredients are a lot, but we're talking about red chili powder. We're talking there's cinnamon, there's cloves, there's ginger powder in here. It's gonna be it's gonna be. I don't know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be food. It smells actually pretty good. Smell that. Oh, you know it smells like um what is it? Oh, what is it? So I'm gonna put some in my hand and I'll show the camera. It looks like this. So that's what it looks like. Here, take some. Yeah, I'm hoping I can show you guys. So oh, looks like that. So you're getting all kinds of different stuff, potato sticks, cashews. I'm assuming the the the, the, the green thing is the mung beans. Probably. Um all right, let's see what happens, man. Cheers. Cheers. Ginger, hyper savory. Hyper savory. Um, it needs more salt. Actually, no, it's actually pretty good. Mmm. Now the heat is coming. I don't taste that. I, I have a one of heat. A one. I can taste it, but it's, I can't taste it, basically. Well, I need to do this again. You can have more, you can not, you can do it, whatever you want. Okay. This would be an excellent like topper. So if you're making like an and like again some sort of any sort of Asian cuisine at your house, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you get a little sprinkle over this. You're making a stir fry. You're making like a little rice dish. Whatever. It's good. Get this little sprink sprink over top of it, and you're gonna be good to go. All right. Is it tasty? It's very tasty. I agree with you. It's like hyper savory, a moo. Um, Mommy kind of situations going on, like the cashews going on in there, and there's a little bit of spice happening. Is this above a one for you? I think it's a one. Just I think a it's one. a one as well. It's extremely mild, um, but there is heat. Like I have a, yeah. a definite, actual burn to the back of my throat. However, extremely mild, but it is there. It is. So there is there is heat to it. It's just not very hot. I like the cashews. I'm just like eating them. So there's six grams of protein. This is actually not that bad for you. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Here, put that over there. We can rank them from our favorites to our non-favorites soon. All right, the, the ghost that we're laying. Oh, we're definitely going swinkles, man. I want some swinkles for breakfast. How can you turn down a swinkle, man? These are made by Mars? Oh, it's man. It's made on Mars. So, pineapple and then, um, and then um, tamarind. So you got the pineapple, the tamarind. Ooh. Ooh. I don't even think I need to open mine. We can just go off of one of these. Oh, whoa, they're like, 
candy. Is it, yeah, it's definitely candy. It's like stuffed, too. All right, man, cheers. Let's see cheers. what happens. That's good. That is tasty. That is a amazingly nice little treat right I there. I taste no heat, but it's good. Holy ingredients. Okay, these are terrible for you. Straight up candy. Um, so much ingredients. I'm seeing things like high fructose corn syrup, things you do not want to see in your in your food, but it's good. Man, is it tasty! It's like those, um, you know, like a sour straw. It's like a sour straw, but not sour. Instead, it's like spicy. You know what I'm saying? I don't taste any heat though. Not, like literally zero. Like, okay, is it good? I love it. Yeah, this is fantastically delicious. This is clearly a candy. So, I understand that's what you're getting yourself into. Now, is it spicy? No. Absolutely not. There's like nothing happening spice wise. Oh, okay. Well, I take that back. Is there literally zero spice, or are you like detecting something? I don't detect anything. Really? All I take is all I detect is candy. <laughs> I am like hyper focused on the heat, and I can technically taste heat. Technically, it's like it's so minute. But this is not like this is this is hotter than a glass of water. Yeah. But not by much. Not so much. like, <laughs> on just under a one, I would it's say. It's so good though. It's so tasty. Okay. They should have these at like gas stations. I bet. I mean, they probably do in whatever country that these are in. Yeah. Does it say does it have a country of origin on here? Yeah. Uh, they're made in Mexico, so okay. I'm assuming that these are they are Mexican. Okay, on like? to the big show. Okay. Yes. Where are you what from? What is this? Uh, I don't know. People playing. They're playing games. So there's uh, potatoes. are sixty one percent potato. Okay. Thirty one percent vegetable oil. Wow. Oh. Eight wow. percent seasoning. Okay. It's good. And so that seasoning is where it's coming. This is made by PepsiCo, and there. This is from Thailand. Thailand. So, ghost pepper. Let's see if they actually bring it. Yes. So it looks like. Wow! Smell that. Oh. Try that. So, so the bag dead. is extraordinarily empty. It but, is, but, but like all bags, they're extraordinarily empty. That's that's a fair statement. So that's what they look like on the inside. I'm just gonna put a couple like on the table. Ooh. Okay. So that's what they that look that like. One? I'm gonna go for like these couple. Pretty good. All right, cheers. Let's see what happens. Okay. Immediately, it tastes they taste incredibly Indian. It tastes like nothing. It tastes like I go to an Indian restaurant and get a snack. You're kind of right. It, it has heat, though. It does have that vibe to it. It has heat. It does have heat. Uh-huh. Ooh. I'm kind of impressed with this. The more you eat, the hotter it's going to get. Yeah. Okay. Oh, whoa. Are you getting some heat there? Yeah. I'm, you know? I'm trying to isolate what flavors I'm trying I'm to get. I'm going to go get some water. Oh, yeah? All right, come back. You do have a Sprite. And I can't open that grape. I got you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You want more? Yeah. Kind of. So we have some questions to answer here. All right, hold on. I'm trying to isolate the flavors. What I'm getting here. I might be getting like cardamom, like. There's just one taste that I can't explain. I can't explain it either. There is a um, a floralness yeah. to these. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which is actually pretty interesting. Um, yeah. They don't taste um, like a pepper pod. They don't mm -hmm. taste like a pepper, and that's the wrong pepper on the cover mm -hmm. of it. It's like a, I don't know, something like a, like a like a Tabasco pepper or something like that, or like a cayenne pepper. But this, but yeah, this has ghost pepper on the front of it. So, um, okay, all right, good. Yes. Now. It are they hot? Yes. Yes, they are. Yes. I mean, spoiler, you had to go get a drink. Like, they're, yeah. these are like legit spicy. Yeah, like, they are. The second you stop eating them, just, and you let the actual like heat settle in, yeah, there might be actual like ghost pepper powder in here. I think there is. There might be. Like, I'm getting a, a, an all over burn in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Like, after eating a pretty good amount of these. Okay. On uh, one to ten, heat scale, where are you sitting? Five. Five? I mean, I'm at a two. It's above the flavor of heat, mm -hmm. but it's not quite a three yet. But they are packing some legit heat. You know, I got some of my knuckles. Okay, so. Okay, 
Well, Breaking. They're them. all pretty good. Which one is your favorite? You think the swinkles? The swinkles are your the favorite. Swinkles. Swinkles are good. Um. Okay. Okay. Which one's the hottest in your opinion? Yeah, I can totally <laughs> agree with that. This is definitely the hottest. The least um, hottest. Definitely, but yep. So heat level. That's what we're going. Swinkles are the least. These are number two, and these are ten times hotter than the, the other two combined. I would say my um um. This, these are my favorite if I put it like this, <clears throat> but yours would probably be this one, or this. That's probably yours. Favorite? Like, how much you like them. I'm gonna go like this. Really? Yeah. For flavor-wise, <laughs> I like this, only because, like, I I'm like... I can only taste heat in that, though. Uh, I mean, I'm getting a little bit more than heat. Um, Same, but... But I'm also, at, like, in a selfish way, I'm also looking for, like, the nutritional element of this, and this actually has like a somewhat n nutritious value to it. Mm -hmm. So it's not just like pure yep. indulgence or candy, basically. So kids, which, stop eating Doritos. Which is what these this. these two products are basically just like candy yep. and indulgence. So, anyways, Brian, thank you very much. Your resident snack master, he has answered yet again. Um, I think we need to do more of these. Yeah. I think I had a lot of fun. Thank you for inviting me. No problem. In the description below is going to be a link to these things on Amazon. So if these are things that are into you, there's an Amazon link. You can click them, it's grab it, cool. whatever you want to do. A link to Turbo Toy Time, Ryden's channel that he does with his dad, Andy. Yes. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys on the next.